I'm Heli Hollnagel. I'm a regulatory toxicologist working for the Dow Chemical Company. And I'm here today to talk about testing versus risk, the concept of the threshold of toxicological concern, and about safety assessment for new home care and personal care products. For Dow, safety is the top priority. That refers not only to internal processes, but also very much to our products. One could see that as to being a barrier to innovation, but at the same time, we have world-class expertise in um, risk assessment and risk management in-house, and we are employing that to strike the best balance, really, between safety needs and innovation. It's really a team effort. We collaborate very closely. The toxicologists and ecotoxicologists become involved in development products and development processes very early in the process and we stay involved throughout. As a toxicologist, I also regard it as my job in those teams to be creative with toxicological methods, to not be a barrier basically to the creativity in the chemistry science. All the home care, personal care and chemical industry, I think, have made a significant leap in the five years towards using non-animal methods. Those are different types of methods. Some methods replace animal testing methods. Other methods also help us to understand better the mechanism of action which chemicals may have on an organism. And we employ predictive methods which make use of existing knowledge to extrapolate, basically, um, to new substances. It is very important that we keep this aspect as the top priority. But at the same time, we have world-class expertise in risk management and risk assessment in Dow, and we employ this expertise to strike the balance between product safety and also innovation. Well, there is certainly a large impact because the industry is bound to legislations. So there is that impact that it changes the testing strategies on new products but there is also an impact which pushes innovation in terms of being novel methods being developed by academia labs and also industry labs in the last years there has been a large push towards alternative methods being developed and a lot of methods came up but it's always very interesting and very important to have expert knowledge on those novel methods because we need to certainly know which methods are reliable and which ones aren't. So the Dow toxicologists and ecotoxicologists are watching that landscape of new methods very carefully and we are also applying some novel methods in our laboratories. That enables us to apply the most robust and reliable but also novel methodology to our new products um, to assure safety. Well, we have a world-class team of scientists in our toxicology and ecotoxicology department. And we're staying on top of the um, methodology and the science on developing testing methodologies. We can assure that we strike the right balance between the need to do safety assurance testing and new regulatory requirements. We are well aware that the results of this science wouldn't make much of an impact if we don't go and discuss it with people and talk about it. So the approach is really that we develop science, often also in collaboration with external partners and together with our customers as well, and then put the results of this science out for discussion with different stakeholders, be that our customers, toxicologists, NGOs, regulators and academia scientists. And this dialogue is kind of facilitated by external science organizations, such as the Society of Toxicology in the US, the European Toxicology Society, then the International Life Sciences Institute, and other very important organizations. And within those discussions, we try to develop a common understanding of what methods are preferable to um, seek this understanding to lead to a consensus on what the regulations should adopt.
Within the framework of sustainability, we apply a principle of three E's, which is ethics, early involvement and expertise. And with bringing in all those different aspects, we can assure that we strike just the right balance between innovation in the home care, institutional and personal care business, and develop new solutions also for society. Mm -hmm.